Hey guys, I'm John. And today we're here at the Mishimoto Garage to install the Mishimoto Silicone and Hose Kit on the 2015 Ford Mustang EcoBoost. If you're interested in other 2015 Mustang EcoBoost videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tools needed for install include a 5.5 millimeter socket, a 7 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, quarter drive 6 inch extension, quarter drive ratchet, a flathead screwdriver, channel lock pliers, a funnel, motorcraft coolant, and distilled water. Install time is about two hours, and the install difficulty is a three out of five. Give your Mustang the chance to cool down before working on it. Remove the cap on the overflow tank. Disconnect the intake air temperature sensor. Using a flathead screwdriver, loosen the worm gear clamp on the intake to disconnect the plastic air inlet pipe from the airbox. Remove the one 10 millimeter airbox bolt. Now, lift and remove the airbox from your Mustang. Raise the car by using a lift or jack stands. Remove the 14 seven millimeter bolts, six pop clips, and two five and a half mil bolts, holding the under tray in place. If you have a piece of 3 8 hose laying around, this makes it a lot easier to drain the coolant. Attach the 3 8 hose to the petcock drain before opening the petcock. And once in place, open the petcock and drain the coolant. Draining the coolant may take several minutes. Once you're done, make sure to close the petcock. Use your channel lock pliers to remove the two spring clamps holding the upper coolant hose in place. Now you're ready to install the Mishimoto upper coolant hose. Make sure you have the two worm gear clamps on the hose before you install it. Tighten down the worm gear clamps using an 8mm socket. Next, we're ready to replace the lower hose. Remove the two spring clamps holding the lower hose in place. Next, install the Mishimoto lower hose. Make sure you have the two worm gear clamps already on the hose before you put it on. Tighten down the worm gear clamps using a flathead screwdriver. You can also use an 8mm socket, but it's a little bit easier with a flathead screwdriver. Place the airbox back in the engine bay and reinstall the airbox using the one 10 millimeter bolt you removed earlier. Reconnect the airbox to the intake pipe with the one worm gear clamp you loosened earlier. Make sure to tighten down the clamp and plug in the intake air temperature sensor. Reattach the under tray using the 14 seven millimeter bolts, six pop clips, and two five and a half millimeter bolts. Using the head of the quarter inch drive ratchet, Remove the bleeder plug. Fill the system from the coolant tank until you start to see coolant in the bleeder port. Fill the coolant system a bit higher than the max line and reinstall the coolant cap. Fill from the bleeder port until coolant reaches the top of the port and replace the bleeder plug before starting the Mustang. Now that you've installed your new Mishimoto silicone hose kit, make sure your system is properly bled and take your car for a test drive. Check out the link at the end of this video if you're not familiar with how to bleed your cooling system.